Alright, how I became a vampire. Part two. Thank you. I just don't know what is going on. I'm scared, I said as I started to cry. Don't be. I am here for you. As he was hugging me, I fell asleep. He picked me up and carried me to a bench in the park and laid me down. I wake up about an hour later. My eyes all of a sudden turned red again. I reached for the tablets he gave me, but I can't hold on, I can't hold on to them, and they fell onto the ground. The first time, I was more calm, and I could control myself, but this time, I couldn't. He knew what was wrong. He hugged me, and he knew what I wanted to do. Not realizing what I was doing, I clawed my teeth into his neck. After I drank his blood, I became back to normal. Why did I just do that to you? I am so sorry. It's okay. But now you are her and it's my fault. As he was, as she was looking at him. <coughs> the bite marks all of a sudden healed. Normal humans don't heal that fast. What is he? He looked at me and he could tell that I was really confused about what just happened. The vampire appears in front of me and puts his hand over my head and puts me to sleep. All of a sudden, he sees me fall backwards and he catches me. He notices that something has happened to me, but he didn't know exactly what. After I fell asleep, he was holding me. He noticed, he noticed that I wasn't just sleeping, but there was something wrong. He tried to wake me up. All of a sudden, he sees me fall backwards and he catches me. He notices that something has happened to me, but he didn't know exactly what. After I fell asleep, he was holding me. He noticed that I wasn't just sleeping, but there was something wrong. He tried, he tried to wake me up, but it, was, but it was useless. When I was dreaming, the vampire looked at me, and I couldn't move. What happened, I thought. I tried to speak, but it was impossible. He was controlling me in every way possible. He was holding me, and he could tell that I have been completely paralyzed. I have to find some way to wake her up. In my dream, he started to bite me, and outside my dream, the boy thought if he bit me, I would wake up. He knew since he was a pure blood vampire, I would become, I would become one when he bit me. So, so he thought. So he was, so he was just about to, and he hesitated. He knew soon. He knew sooner or later, I was going to. I was going to find out. He found a way to enter my dream. He kissed me. That moment, he went through a portal of light. While he was moving through, he could see all my memories and all the things he didn't know before. He could. He could read my mind, but I said before that that some things were still hidden from him. After he arrived, he saw me. He was a, he saw him about to bite me again. I already looked so hurt and I lost so much blood. I was there limp, transforming more painfully into a vampire. He didn't know what to do, but he, he didn't know, he didn't know what to do. But he knew he had to think of something quick, or else I would die, or turn into a vampire myself. As you know, vampires are fast. He runs over and grabs me 
before the, um, before the other vampire knows what happened. He stops time, but he can only stop time for a short time. He sees that I am really hurt. He bites his hand and gives me some of his blood. He didn't know when he he didn't know when he did that I was going to wake up. When I woke up When I woke up, he was still holding me. I opened my eyes. Weird. Why do I feel so weak after a dream? Wait a minute. It wasn't a dream, was it? No, it wasn't. I don't even remember falling asleep. This vampire can make you fall asleep and make you think you are dreaming. But you're not. It's really happening. When I fell asleep at home, I fell asleep on my own. I thought you probably did. It doesn't matter. It still works both ways. I have to find a way to protect her. Even though I don't know, even though I don't know when she is going to be attacked, I sensed it just in time to save her last time, but she still got hurt. I don't want to see her hurt again, he thinks to himself. I walk over to him and I fall into his arms as I faint. He can tell I am still very weak. I promise I will protect you no matter what, no matter what I have to do, even if it means turning you into a pure blood vampire. That would be the only way I would know. That would be the only, that would be the only way I would know that you would be safe. To be continued. Now here's something that I just typed because, um, I wanted to let you know everything that was, you know, you know, going to happen. Um, well, not everything that's going to happen, everything that was about the story. She doesn't, she, doesn't, she doesn't know anything about vampires, so she doesn't know what she has become or what he is. The thing about this other vampire is that he only becomes visible to the one he is going after. Only outside, only outside their dream. He is visible to everyone inside her dream. He also had the power to make me fall asleep, and I won't wake up until he wants me to. But as I said before, there is a way, but only under certain circumstances. You can either fall asleep on your own, or he can make you fall asleep. He can still make your dreams into real life. The reason he makes me fall asleep is because he can hide what he is doing to you so no one else will know until it is too late. He also has the power to paralyze you just by looking at you. Pretty scary if you ask me. In my thought, if a person gets bitten by a vampire but not a pure blood vampire, they still become part vampire, but they can change back somehow. I'm not sure how yet. When someone gets when someone gets bitten by a vampire, not a pure blood, they have to get bitten three times before they fully become one. The power of the good vampire are the powers of the good vampire are he could read minds and enter your dreams just by kissing you. He can also stop time. He can also put her to sleep, but in a good way to help her. All right. The conclusion will be part three. I have some ideas when I'm going to write for it and look forward to it. See you in part three. Bye.